Where am I? I have been climbing out of this cave for what feels like forever. The caves are much deeper here and I think I must have been right at the bottom of the world but I've at last seen just a little bit of light and I want to see what's on the other side of it because this doesn't feel like I'm in the right place at all. What is here? This this is too... What on earth is going on? Right, so we've got to find... I'm not in Amamancia anymore. I have got a feeling we are not in Kansas anymore, people, because this is not Avamancia. Except, yes it is. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to the first episode in my Minecraft 118 survival series, Avamancia Season 3. Except, I'm doing Minecraft solo survival, not on my own anymore. We are changing things up. Avamancia has now gone public. What on earth are you talking about, Avo? This is a private solo world, surely? Well, no, dear viewer. Avamancia is no longer private and definitely not solo. Avamancia is now going to be built on Avatopia, my patron server. And this is the spawning point. So if you want to come and play and literally wander through my world, this is where you're going to end up. Avamancia is literally going to be built at the spawn of Avatopia. And when you spawn in, you're going to be wandering through what I'm building as I'm building it. And I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited about this. I'll give you loads of details as we go through the video on how to play, how to come and join in, all that kind of stuff. But for now, I've got to get going because time's a ticking and I need to punch a tree because that's what everybody does at the start of a game, right? And I need to get myself just a few resources because I might have a fancy spawn point, but everything else, well, that's down to me. Okay, first crafting table of the new season. Here we go. Very excited. Boom, let's actually make ourselves something handy so as we can get ourselves moving forwards. I'm gonna to to turn those into oak planks, pop those like that and get myself one wooden ax. First tool, that is cool. Let's get ourselves a little bit of stone, okay? I need three bits of stone and then we can make some proper progress. Here we go. Stone pick in hand. Now I can get myself some other tools and actually make some progress. I've got literally nothing, nothing whatsoever. I know, I appreciate that we've got that really nice spawning point, but other than that, everything, this is all on me. And I better sort myself out some food in a sec, and a bed. I hope there's some sheep about. Doing all right for coal. Full set of stone tools now. I'm gonna clear out some of this wood around the spawn area because we're not gonna want this with our build. This is just really useful to have. So let's get this cracking and we can build ourselves a wood farm in a future episode. But I need loads of this wood to get myself moving. Sheep! Sorry, mate, but I need you. At least that's the bed sorted. I'm not gonna die in the night time now because there's not gonna be one for a little while. I'm gonna pop that bed down there. I'm gonna reset my spawn because I'm pretty sure I didn't spawn up here. And let's keep going. I need the food, hang on, hang on. Quick, quick, furnace. Now those of you that think I sound like Gordon Ramsay, I'm cooking now as well. Right, thank goodness for that. Food in my belly, I can start to properly gather some resources now. And as I'm doing that, I can let you know how to come and get involved. This server is open to my Redstone patrons and above. That's my tier two patrons. And I'd be really excited for you to come and join in and build your base as part of my world. Avamancia itself is going to be the spawning. And when you walk in, you'll see everything that I've done, all the progress that I've made over the course of this series, which I plan to take a very long time. And also, you can then go and build your base out a thousand blocks from here that's where all the other bases are going to start and we can start to build ourselves a bit of a community first night having a kip much more refreshed anyway where was i oh yeah so what you can do is if you go to avamance.com that's avamance.com you will find out the details on how to become a patron of the channel and then come and join in on this server However, if you're not a patron, you can still come and play Quarrycraft, which is my other free-to-play SMP server, and that's open now too. The IP for all of the servers is play.aververse.com. That is play.aververse.com. It is in the description below, and if I remember to do it, I'll pop it up on the screen as well. If you pop that in, you can then follow signs to both Avatopia SMP, which is this one, and also Quarrycraft SMP. They're all there, ready for you to play. And I'm really excited to see what you insanely talented builders can pull off on both of these servers. I spy a little bit of iron just over there. Got to be careful I don't fall in the void here. But we have got our first iron of the season. Four bits. At least I can make myself a pick. 
And you never know when you're going to need a bit of dirt, so I might as well grab a bit of this as well. There are so many ridiculous holes. I've really got to be careful. I've already got some friends coming, but I'm not really ready to greet them yet, so I'm just going to let them wander off. I'm going to run the other way quickly. So we've got ourselves a little bit of resource now. Not as much as perhaps I'd like at this stage, but we've got at least some iron. I can now make myself a bucket with this iron and the other iron that's coming through I can do something else with because I need to get some water I want to just start a quick little farm to grow some seeds unfortunately it looks like we've got a massive lake right that whirl hole a massive lake right down here that I can take that water from which is fabulous and I can get this little farm going get myself some bread and all that kind of stuff I'm not going to go too much explorey today but I know there are gonna be other things to explore fairly close by that we'll do soon. Our setup is growing. I just wanna make myself an iron pick cause I'm happy when I've got one of those. There's the advancement, thank you very much. And I've got four bits of iron left. So I reckon I'm just gonna start myself off and get myself some iron boots as well. Look at that, first set of armor. So I reckon just here, I'm just gonna dig this out, pop in that water. I've made myself slab, so that can go there. And then I can just bring myself with my new stone hole, just a little bit of a crop area, just to give myself some wheat. And then I can get myself some bread. I think this is the way forward. And then we can start to do just a little bit of building. No massive grand plans for this episode, but you know, maybe we can get just a little bit done. However, what I do want to do is have a look up these mountains. And I thought I saw some cows. Oh, yeah, I did. Some cows just over here. Because I want some leather boots. Of course, I've just managed to make myself some uh, iron boots. And maybe that wasn't the best idea. But if I can get myself four bits of leather, that will work very nicely. I'm going to run out of cows. Yeah, there's only two left, and um, one of them is a baby. So I'm gonna wait for him to grow. I'll breed these up and get my leather that way. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and cook their mates. That should keep me going for a little while. And whilst these crops are growing, I'm gonna pop over to the mate space and the Hall of Heroes, just to introduce you to a few people that could well be here very, very soon. I've jumped over to the Aververse lobby world because I wanna introduce you to a few people. Now, if you wanna skip this bit, the timestamp is in the description below. However, it is only gonna be a couple of minutes and I really recommend you meet them. First up, we have a brand new YouTube member, Fatima Zainab. Fatima, thank you so, so much for becoming a YouTube member. I really, really appreciate it. And it is brilliant to see you in amongst this garden. And I've got two new Cobble members that I want to say hello to as well. If you would like to get involved with Patreon and get a shout out on one of these videos and also potentially play on Avatopia, then do go and check out avamance.com. It's got all the details. Our two brand new Cobblestone patrons are Faster Jaguar at 47. Faster Jaguar, thank you so much for becoming a Cobble patron. It is brilliant to see you. And the one and only Lou. One and only Lou, thank you for becoming a Cobble patron. It is really cool to see you up in that cabinet. I've also got some tier two redstone patrons that I want to say hello to. And they are Kravi. Thank you so, so much for becoming a redstone patron. It's brilliant to put you up on that redstone block. Thank you so much. Daniel Taylor, great to see you as a patron. Thank you so much for joining the team. It is brilliant to see you. Molly, so lovely to pop you up there in some red leather outfit and this glowy sign with your name on it. Thank you so much for becoming a redstone patron. We have also got Nico Belich. Nico, thank you for becoming a Redstone patron. It's brilliant to have you at the end of this really crazy can can. Stefan Foss. Stefan, you're a Redstone patron. Thank you so much. It is great to have you up there. Rubber Booger. Rubber Booger is great to have you as a Redstone patron. Thank you for joining and thank you so much for the support. We've also got Jerry Bernardo. Jerry, thank you for becoming a Redstone patron. Looking fabulous in that red armor there on top of that Redstone block. We've got Andrew Kelly. Andrew, it is good to see you. Thank you so much for being a Redstone patron. It is a pleasure to have you in the team. We've got Jinga Din. Jinga, it is so cool to have you. Thank you so, so much for coming up as a Redstone patron. Lovely to have you on that block, in that armor. It is brilliant. And Iron Raptor, Iron Raptor, I see you in that red armor as a Redstone patron. Thank you so much. It is good to have you. And thank you, everybody. Now, I just need to pop over to the mate's base to introduce you to someone very special. And the mate's base is found underneath the big tree that is the gateway to Quarrycraft. 
This is quite exciting because we're going past all of season two and this one is gonna be season three, but who's it gonna be? It is Chris M. Chris is a massive part of this community. It is an absolute delight to know him. Chris, you are well-deserved and frankly, I'm surprised I've not already put you in. Thank you so, so much for everything you do for this community and this channel. We are going green for this particular season. Season three is green. Chris, thank you and welcome to the mate space. We've got to get back to Avamantia or Avatopia. This is going to confuse me. Avatopia, Avamantia. I don't know. Maybe we need a different name. Nah, still Avamantia. Well, I come back and it's raining, but at least my crops are done. So let's get these out, replant the seeds, and then I can try and breed out those cows as well and get a few more of those. Blimey, they've got a lot of seeds from that, didn't we? Our baby cow has grown up. So let's breed these. Go on, parrots and the bats achievement. There we go. Thank you very much. Right, you now need to grow up again and I'm gonna keep feeding you. And then we're gonna do that over and over people until there's lots of you. And then I'm gonna kill you again. I think they're in agreement. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull them closer along with the sheep as well, I think. Pigs aren't interested in this. And maybe I can make myself just a little animal pen so I don't have to keep going wandering all the time. At least it stopped raining. I'm gonna make myself just a little temporary animal pen. These are not going to be staying. They are not part of the permanent build at all. In fact, nothing I've done so far is gonna be part of the permanent build. All I want to be able to do is to have just a few little utilities around me whilst I plan out what it is we're gonna move forwards with. Right, there's one animal pen, I like that. Let's see if we can't get ourselves a few cows in it. They've gone wandering off again, haven't they? Come on, Mr. Cow, over you come, this way. Come on, I don't want your sheep, I just want the cow. Okay, I've got all three of my little cow mates coming along. And if I jump over this, they can jump over too. Here they come, they're all coming. But I can jump over that way and they can't. And they're now trapped and that makes them stupid. I can breed those two up there. That means we got four, jobs are good. And let's make one for sheep. This only works if they flap in that direction up towards the center. If they flap the other way, it's not gonna work. Where's those sheep? Two sheep, that's all I need for now. You can come and follow me in here because you're as stupid as the cows are. In you come, in you come, jump over, smash in. Now you're mine. I'm gonna breed you too. There we go. Baby sheep, show me the baby sheep. Brilliant. Just pop myself down a little chest there and I'll put the wheat in for breeding, which means I've got no wheat for myself. I'm gonna go and see if there's a village nearby. I'll go the opposite way to the mountains because I'm not really thinking I wanna climb over those mountains right now. I literally know that I'm gonna fall straight into some powdered snow, die, and that would be standard. But hopefully over these slightly less ominous looking hills, we'll get um, a village that's not too far away. Oh my goodness, it really wasn't too far away. It's literally just over the hill. That's handy. Right, I'm just gonna come and nick everything out the village. I'm sorry, people, that I'm maybe gonna be coming through here soon, but this stuff's mine. I might as well grab the odd bed as well. We've got a librarian villager, but his trades are rubbish, so I might see if we can't reset him a little bit, just to see whether or not the trades get a little bit more interesting. There you go, normal person. Become a librarian here and come back down. Come back down, be a librarian. Look, it's there, it's there. Oi, you, come back down here, come back down. That's it, look, 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 workstation. Don't go out there, no, don't do that. I don't wanna irritate Mr. G. All right, you do what you want. Well, he's changed again, but it's still a little bit rubbish. I might see if I can just, just make it a little bit more interesting. No, it's, it's, this could be a long day. Oh, we have also got a cleric, and look at a little mate. We've got a mason as well. Bricks, oh, that could be useful. I decided I'd just nick his stone cutter because frankly, that's probably more important to me. These villagers are bound to end up dying. I'll end up killing them by not protecting them properly. The zombies will get them and you know it's not gonna end well. So I might as well just accept that for what it is. And maybe we save just a couple to be able to breed up and bring into Avamancia once we've got things rolling. However, there do not seem to be that many chests in the village for me to nick stuff from, which is very frustrating. What have you got for me now? You've got infinity. Ooh, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna leave that with you. But in here, look, everybody's trying to get in. I'm gonna sleep in this bed now. I'm gonna sleep in it. No, 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 you get out. I wanna sleep in that one. You get out, stay out, stay out. I found a chest. They're all trying to protect it, but I'm having it. Look, it's absolutely chock-a-block with apples, a few potatoes, 
a rogue feather, but four diamonds as well, which is quite nice. So what are you? What have you got? Diamond for red? No, you can go away. See if there's anybody worth locking in. I've not got any books, so I can't lock my other feather in. What's my farmer trade? What you got? So, oh, no. You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to nick all of their hay. I can get some bread here with this fella, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trade this guy in just to get the achievement. I've now traded. Thank you very much, sir. I'm just going to nick. I'm just nicking your hay. Don't look. Well, we had a bit of a haul on that one. I managed to get myself 58 hay bales, a little bit of bread, and traded some bread. But I've also got carrots and I've got potatoes. Got myself a stone cutter, a few emeralds. I think we're sorting ourselves out. So I'm going to head back now. What way was it? I think, I think it was that way. See, I don't actually get lost. It's all for show. Oh, how did he get here? Have we got a portal? How on earth did he get here? But I'm going to leave him alone because I don't need to worry about them. What I am going to do is I'm going to use these carrots to lure the piggies in. So as I've got little piggy people as well. Come on, you lot. Ah, did you get one of you get hit by lightning? Maybe that's what it was. Got a right gaggle going. The pigs are in. I've also got my first wandering con man, which is very exciting. I do want to go and see what it is he wants to trade first, because maybe he's got something interesting. Rarely is that true. So we've got, what, ferns, dye. Is that it, mate? Blue ice, though. Blue ice, okay. Um, no, I think you're going to go the way of every other wandering con man, and I'm just going to kill you. Here we go. And your mates. Because that will give me some leather as well. Which means I can make those boots. Go, no, 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 don't run away from me. Die a lot. Die a lot. How much leather do I get? Two. Oh, I just need one more, I think. One more leather, I can make those boots. Added to the farm. Now we can grow some carrots, potatoes, and some beetroot as well. I'm looking for chickens. There's got to be two chickens, surely, in this massive expanse. Surely. Where's the chicken? Come here. Well, there's one. Have you got any mates? Right, I found his mate. Now I can put these in a pen as well. Chicken breeding. We've got a few cows now, so I'm going to see if I can't get myself a little bit of leather. There's one! Ha ha! Boots, mountains, here I come. These will protect me, and I will take the iron boots off, put the leather boots on, leave the iron boots in here, and I'll just keep these leather boots so as I can... I want to wander up here. I just want to have a look. Okay, these things are actually really quite high. Fortunately, I haven't got any powdered snow problems just yet, and I'm not gonna take out any of this ice because I've not got a silk touch pick. But if I come to the top, you can see we are proper high. We're at 178. I'm not quite at the top, although there are emeralds over there as well. I might just have to go and pick those emeralds out. But this is really quite cool. Not too much powdered snow, actually. I think it's not too bad. But, of course, there could be some just waiting for me around any corner. Okay, the emeralds are just here, right over this precipice, obviously. So, let's just grab my iron pig. Grab the emerald and my first mined emerald. Okay, that's not an achievement, but in my mind it is. And I spy with my little eye something beginning with blacksmith. But it's also just about to go dark, so I'm bombing it down here to try and get to the village. I can then sleep, I can nick their hay as well. They might have more stuff worth looting and the blacksmith surely will have something worth having. Right, first up, I'm having the grindstone. I can't see any villagers up this end, so I think we're probably safe. This is open. What have you got in your thing? Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, very nearly all the obsidian we need. We've got an iron chest plate, we've got a sad, this is a cracker. Let's get that chest plate on. What do you reckon, people? Do I look snazzy? Of course I do. There are so many farmers in this village. I've counted five different farmer villagers. So I stole a composter. Don't judge me. Have you noticed there's even more mountains over this other side? I'm just going to go and have a look. I know I said I wasn't going to explore too much, and I'm not. But I do want to go and have a look over here. Is this a platform I can walk across? Uh, if the sheep don't get in the way, I can just about... Nah, that's fine. Let's have a look, because that looks like that's an interesting cave over there. Is that is that a dripstone cave? Hang on, I've got to check this out. It looks like we've got our first dripstone cave, people, but it is also full of mobs. So I'm not going to do too much with it right now, because they can't get to me. Ha! But 
That's worth knowing that that's there, isn't it? That's cracking. Can you get to me? Oh, maybe. No, you can't. Thank goodness for that. However, the spider can. It's time for our first mob kill. No. Yes. Monster Hunter. Zombies are so stupid, they're actually going to kill themselves, I think. I'm tempted to just have a go at this one. Come on, then. Let's see if I can hit you from here. Yeah, you burn a little bit. I'll help you out with my sword. You die. Um, I can just about get myself out here. I can get myself... A little bit of this rotten flesh. Just what I don't want to see is a creeper. Uh, and what is the first thing I see is a creeper. I'm going to kill my first creeper, people. Here we go. Come on then, creeps. I'm going to let you explode. Boom. All good. I'm going to take out a little bit of this coal. Because, you know, you can't have too much coal, right? That's always the way. But I am going to take myself a bit of dripstone as well. Oh. That almost had me. You can fall down. There we go. That's you out of my way. I'm going to get some of this because I could make myself a little lava farm. In fact, there's a few bits in here I could take advantage of. Coal, iron, all that kind of jazz. I might as well have it, right? I just don't want to end up getting crept up on. You know that's likely to happen. You know it is. Right, let's have all of this stuff. There are so many mountains to explore over in that direction, but I'm going to head myself back to base. I told you it was going to catch up with me. Look, we got powdered snow and I very, very nearly went into it. Very nearly, look, because you, you can just walk into it like that. But thank goodness for these leather boots. I think it's fair to say we've made a little bit of starter progress. It was just only a little quickie episode just to show you what's going on. I'm really excited to see what you lot are going to do. Remember details on how to come and play on this server with me and the entire community are on avamance.com. That is avamance.com. It'll be really awesome to see you. I'm really looking forward to everybody turning this into not just a community, but a massive civilization with Avamancia right in the middle of it and all of your bases all the way around it, visiting you, you visiting me. It's going to be brilliant. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.